What's up guys? I had a quick second today, a beautiful sunny weekend, and I wanted to share another piece of my collection with you guys. And this one is pretty rare, um, but more importantly it's from a maker that's a little bit less well known than others, but equally as talented um, and equally as creative. Uh, this piece you're looking at is from Aegis Knife Works. Jeff and his guys came up with this model. It's called the Hoplite. This particular one is labeled Hoplite Special um, because it is a customized order of a custom knife. So what you're looking at here is a flipper, dark acid stone wash, beautifully executed, running on a cage bearing system, ceramic balls, ceramic detent ball. And what really put this group on the map is the action. Absolutely flawless action. Fires amazingly well. It reminds me of kind of the work coming out of Brad Blunt's shop. And that's a very, very big compliment to this group of guys. Um, what makes this special quote unquote is the use of Rob Thomas stainless Damascus. Absolutely beautiful design. The etching is nice and deep. Stunning, stunning blade. Got a mirror edge on it. You can see right there. Um, it's about a three and a half inch blade. The cutting surface is about three and a quarter. Overall length is a hair over eight and a quarter inches. So call it eight and three eighths. Uh, tactical folder. Like I said, it's a frame lock. Standoffs custom in the back. Beautiful sculpted pocket clip. The over travel. But guys, this is an absolutely fantastic knife. Action is, I mean, I, I know why people freaked out. The first time I was exposed to this was on Justin Laffer's uh, YouTube video and uh, ever since then I kind of wanted one. The company was actually founded by a group of knife enthusiasts, believe it or not, in 2013 and the Hoplite came out in 2014 and as it stands this is the only model that I know of and every once in a while they'll do an auction piece or a, an open bid for a, at a knife show and this is kind of how this one came about. I actually scored this one from a very private collector that is not on Instagram or any other social media, but is a friend of mine and he offered it to me knowing that I'm completely in love with it. So we did the deal and I'm holding it. It's a great piece. Um, for being such a unique and special piece, the finish makes it absolutely usable as an EDC. Um, with the Damascus steel, I'm not gonna go cutting anything crazy because I don't wanna damage that beautiful etching. And yes, there's extra work that goes into taking care of this, like oiling the blade more than I normally do. But I'll carry it and cut paper and, you know, cardboard and food, whatever I need to. Um, again, the action is just amazing. Detent is freaking spot on. Dead center, as you'd expect. Just everything you'd want in a modern tactical folder flipper. It's got, especially that ceramic bearing, it makes for a great action. Fires great every time. In the hand, perfect. It's got that tactical lip on the back, on the tail. Usable choil. Just an all around beautiful piece. Take some, let's get some close ups of it for you. And the Damascus is just beautiful the the pattern is just stunning i love it there you go some good light you can catch it all great piece kind of large but relatively light but I don't know, guys, if you got that, you know, that ADD where you need to play with something, 
this knife will fill that void. You will sit there and flip it a thousand times a day. Lockup is kind of where I like it. It's right at 50%. Uh, the lock bar face has been carbonized, so it's nice and you know heavy. Check it out. I think you can get in there pretty close. It looks pretty flush between the tang and the lock bar. No blade play whatsoever, as you'd expect. And the pivots crank down all the way, so it's it's made properly. You can just just twist and twist and torque it, and you're going to end up with a dead center blade. The tolerances are absolutely perfect perfect now jimping pretty aggressive that's where I'd say I mean this will tear you up the jimping on the blade will just rip you up it's a cheese grater the jimping on the back better however if you're wearing gloves this is probably money um, but again, I mean, it's a Damascus blade. I think it's all about looks on this particular one. Just a great example of beautiful steel work. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely, absolutely grail worthy. Beautiful piece. If you guys have any questions at all, about the maker, about this knife, hit me up, let me know. Um, you know, I don't normally do this, but I grabbed the card. There's the model information of the birthday, but if you wanna hit him up for a piece for yourself, hit up Jeff, there's his website. And um, as it stands, I think you could probably score a blade. Um, Price-wise, maker's price, phenomenally good. I'm not gonna really say it's different for order I'm only able to talk about this particular piece but this was a special order um, take a couple more quick looks and then uh, we'll call it next week I'll be making more videos uh, from my home office with the tripod so forgive the iPhone video today I just wanted to get it up I absolutely love this piece if you dig the videos please like Take it easy.